Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video where we click look at various art books and magazines and we're continuing our look at the 2013 Imagine FX magazines and this one here is issue number 96 for June I love the cover of that DVD I love the, the beautiful sort of, it's like a purpley grey what a lovely colour that is. But we'll look at that in a minute. But little Freddy the Fox is with us. <laughs> I love little Freddy the Fox. He's quite cool. He looks a bit grumpy, doesn't he though? He's not grumpy though, not today. Because we're looking at issue number 96, June 2013. It says, I'm a Virgo. If you believe in astrology, and that's a, pers a major personality trait, I don't really know what that means. But what I do know is, I like the cover of this one. It's, I like the um, organic colours. It's not my favourite though. My favourite is still last, last week we looked at this one, number 95. So that's my favourite, and that one as well. These are me, well what's my other favourite? I think this one actually. I think I like that one more than this one. But this one is definitely... I think it's me at the moment, it's in the top, it's in the middle, right in the middle, <laughs> for 2013 I think. I like that sword. And I also, what I like is that little gap. You can see a little bit of gap there between the sword and her body. I like that, and I, I, like, I like the um, the tigers as well. How aggressive they look. I'm not so keen on her face though. What's the background? It's an advert. So the question is, is Claire back today? I hope so. No, it's still Ian, look. I wonder if Claire's ever coming back, because we've got, well, there's normally an editor called Claire, but last year she went away on, what are they doing with adverts here? Too many adverts in these magazines. That's the cover artist that John Stan Stanko. John Stan hey look, she had um she had blonde hair in one of them. How weird is that? It's quite interesting, that. But our editor, our favourite editor Claire, uh, she went away for a baby. Hey look, fantasy art in galleries. And I don't know whether she's ever coming back. Love that. And I love that. This is an artist I'd look into. Look, Aldo Katayangi. I love that. What I like here is the two... The way that you've got like, the dark and light colours on opposite ends. I like that as well. Her eyeball's falling off here, look. It's like a human fly. <laughs> Quite cool. I like that. There, a little guy there. Little man, all on his own. But you can see, if you look closely, you can see little like monsters hidden away in the. Uh... I like this one. There, can you see all the little. I think they're creatures hiding. I like the way that tree's hanging over the edge as well. Sexy. I don't know what. Oh, I love these. Look at that, look. That's amazing. Olivia Rose. Oh, I love these. Oh, well, I love wolves as well. I love it when you get a female and a wolf together. Yeah, a female with a sidekick as a, a bit of cat is cool. Something very sexy about that. Lots of cre- oh yeah, this is a f fantasy special, isn't it, this one? I was going to say, we've got lots of like, sort of, creatures. Human creatures. This is a bit like Mass Effect, this one. Yeah, look. We've got um, fantasy art in galleries. It's quite cool, isn't it? 
A date with destiny. That must be Bungie. It's him. I've watched YouTube videos of him. Lawrence Mann. Lawrence can draw. I never knew he got into an Imagine FX magazine. I like watching his YouTube videos. Because he, he does reviews of like Cintiqs and stuff. Wacom Cintiqs and stuff. Oh, look at this, look. Francis Vallejo. I wonder if this is the son of Boris. What an amazing art studio that is, look. It's massive. And I like that he's got concrete floors. So you can get those proper messy if he wants. Look at all those art books. I like that. Look, look at all these art books. He's got, he's got like a library. Yeah. That's a cool art studio, that is. Planet of the Farties. No sketches this time. They, they used to have... What's this? Images of the Mumphlet. They used to have little sketches there. Eh? Our letters page. I'm waiting for Claire to come back before I... Got a look, you get a free um, copy of Sketchbook Pro there. Uh, only 300. I always feel like they're actually not really doing that because how do you not know that they're just pretending? You could be the number four but they say, oh, we've already had 300. I always thought that about things like that. Artists Q&A. <laughs> Big thing of jelly, look. Look at that, look. Oh, cool, look at these. What's the question? How can I use multiple comic panels to create a sense of action? I like that. Hey, that's cool. Your character. The art of Joe Jesco. Reminds me of um, 80s cartoons, this one. Yeah, I like these. Reminds me of Street Fighter. <laughs> Look cool. Oh yeah, look. Lara Croft. How cool is that? That's amazing, that is. Love that hat. Sexy. I saw that at the start of the magazine. Digital painting, that. I remember seeing that in WH Smith's local bookshop. Sketches are with Pe Paul Soeskal. <laughs> I like these. Oh, I like that hat. This is weird. Normally, female characters are very curvy. There's lots of straight lines going on here. And yet they're still sexy. Look at a little cat, look. See, these are sketches I'd copy, I think. I like those. I hope they got... Look at that, look. <laughs> Quite weird, isn't it? Steam ahead into concept art. All about concept art. Go nuts. Our development sheet. Traditional, what's that then? Mixed media. Probably a photograph. Oh, I like these. Look at lighting on that. Getting into our little workshops now, look. Adopt, uh, adapt uh, Franzetta's art techniques. Frank Vazetta. Oh, I like it there. Oh, I like that hat. See, I prefer that. I 
I like that, I like it there. Because you've got the little sketch as well. Balance details in a composition. <laughs> Look at him there, little robot. His little um, action man figure. Give your art a traditional feel. Yeah, it does look like it. I like that. Flowing and chaotic composition. Oh, cool. Is that um, Guild Wars or something? I like that. Huh? Hey, that's it. Ah, it, was, it wasn't sci-fi. It was comic. Comic art special. Oh, I've just seen the cover for the one after as well. Look at that. I like that. So that'll be next week. Next week we'll be looking at comic art. Be quite cool. Bring a magical forest. Oh, look. How beautiful. I like all the greens on that. But little fairy things. Parrot. I like, I like this one. And this one. Take inspiration from history. This is the one with the nice colours look. I like the um, warmth of the colours. Makes it very friendly. Hey, I should read that. Getting to know Procreate. Learn to paint fabric in motion. Sexy. Oh, little sketches here. Again, another article that looks really cool. Going into our reviews now. What have we got in here? I Iconia W700. 540 quid, look. wonder how many, how much gigs of RAM it's got. What's it got? It's, it's got 4 gig of RAM. wonder how much that is going nowadays. You might, might be, um, might be able to get one of those for cheap. Pencil 3D. The art of the crods. Just draw it. That looks good. Expose look. Nope, I think I haven't played any of those games. Again, this was coming this is about what's this here look? King King's Isle Entertainment. Seen that before. And that. Seen some of that. Yay! We've got I love it when they do that. Look, on a DVD we're going to have um, reference photos. I wonder if he's got his feet in here. <laughs> I, I like it. I hope he can. I hope he can get his little feet in here. Quite, quite cool. Yeah, look, he's done it. Look, if you put that in the right place, it'll look like he's got a willy. Let's go and have a look at this one. Boing. I like the little image you got there. Looks very nice with that yellowy gold font. But we've got the contacts if we want it. We've got the web shite. We've got resources. I like this. I like it when they do photo references. Yeah, they've these DVDs have been a little bit. I want to say lacking something this year, 2013. I feel like maybe Imagine Effects got a bit bored of doing them or something. <laughs> maybe that's why they stopped doing DVDs. I don't know. It's just it. The last few years, there's been a lot more sort of things in there, but we've got the FX Pose bit, he looks cool, and then we've got the little workshops. What ones am I going to look at on this one? Hmm, oh, I'm definitely looking at this one. I might look at that one as well. I think I'm going to look at that one, this one, and I think I'm going to look at this one. Flowing and chaotic composition with Kelly Harris. Brushes, final images. 
personal reference photos steps and let's go to the video no audio as, as normal 30 minutes using painter what do you think about watching videos without audio you think it's a I feel like the audio is quite important for context but you can still oh beautiful colours look at that little squiggy one there look you can still learn a lot see if they were talking they could explain these brushes and stuff oh I love the way they do that huh? oh, it's just a little squiggle it looks a little bit like a um, a creature's face look look at this look there's the eye there's a little mouth it's like a little sort of creature popping its head out behind the clouds <laughs> it's quite cool oh a bit disappointed with the lack of audio I'm going to look at this one next learn to paint fabric in motion with Anna Steinbur brushes final images steps God, there's lots of steps here. Huh? What's this here? Cool. God, look at that, look. Look, they changed the little perspective a bit. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, look at that. This is my highlight of the DVD so far, I think. I like that. We got all just that. Here's a video. Yay! We got audio. Two hours of video with audio. Hi. Hello. My name is Anna Steinmuller, and I'm a freelance illustrator. In this workshop, I'll be showing you how to paint cloth on a moving character, which really helps make your work feel more dynamic. So let's get started. Dun, 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 dun. As you can see, I already took my thumbnail and blew it up to the size, and it made a new layer. Blew it up. Blowing okay. it up. What's... Oh, look at the um. I like that. What's she doing there? I wonder. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? Layered piece workshop informative and thank. I like that. That's my favourite workshop so far. Take inspiration from. <laughs> Oh. Annotations! Annotations, man! What are you doing? Brushes, steps. Yay! We've got a little. These are my favourite things, these are. L little line arts and sketchy things. Oh, I like that. I love the colours as well. Uh, there's something about it when it's like a. like that, I just love it. It's weird as well that they sort of took her eyes away in the final one. I wonder why they done that. Oh, they were quite fun, those um, little workshops. This is the effort. How beautiful. Oh, I like these. These look very vivid colours. Friends, they are. They're friends. I like this artist. Alvo, Alv. Alvaro Escudero. Hey, it's our favourite. And it's Kay. She was in one of the other ones, wasn't she? That's a bit naughty. She was in one of the other DVDs. It's a bit naughty, that is. I like that. Lino, Sword of Omens. Dun 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 Cool. Again, I think she's friends with these beasts. They're her little sort of little helpers. I like these. Oh, that's cool as well. Look. I think they've come out of that. They've come out of that into this world. Oh, some beautiful ones in here. This was the one I was looking forward to. <laughs> it's quite funny. It's a bit weird though, isn't it? 
bit sort of um, creepy. Maxime Goff Goffier. Oh, look. I like that. Look at this, look. I like that. That reminds me a bit of um, Yumi. Yumi did a, a painting just like this called Connection. Between... Oh, actually, I might have it on my computer. Let's go and have a look. Here we go, look. It's in here, I think. Connection by Yumi. Oh, I can't find it. There it is. Look, it looks very much like that one. Doesn't it? Yumi's one of my favourites. I like that. What have we got? What else have we got in here? Boing! Some very beautiful things in there today. Wallpapers, newsletter, concept design workshop. In this video, concept workshop, environments. Boring! I'm not really into environments. I like them, but I find them a little bit boring. Uh, I like him though. He seems like a very cool video games guy. And film. Uh, you know, this yeah, I don't think CG will. Be Hello, <laughs> Hello. Oh, let's look at this one. Greens. We like greens. Oh, I like that a lot. That's really nice. That. I think we've got a beast here. That's a. He looks a bit like um short circuit. I like that. That's cool, isn't it? I wonder what that is in the background. Is it a car? They're quite f quite fun though. We've got little QA files. Photo references. I love these. Bernie. Little Bernie fighting. What they do is they turn like a bloke into a um what do you call it? <laughs> they turn him into like a little figurine. Look, spin the camera around. I love it when they do that. Da, 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 da. It's cool, isn't it? Oh, cool. God, look how big his chest is, look. It's like a... Big muscles. See, I'd love this if it was a lady. I prefer f the shapes of females. What have we got here? Xena fighting. Yay! Little Xena. Hello. They should have put them side by side. She's got quite a big um, muscles as well. <laughs> That's the Matrix pose. I like that. It'd be quite interesting to compare her body with the um, with Bernie. Let's have a look. Little Bernie. I want one where he's like that. Sort of similar pose. It'd probably be... Maybe that one. Let's have a look at the... I want to see what the difference is. It's a waste, isn't it? A little wet and it's the thighs as well. Interesting that is. Digital Tutor's video. In this Photoshop tutorial, Jonas De Rio will show you how to paint a fantasy landscape. Starts from the basic sketch. You like sketches? Oh, I love the music. Hi, I'm Jonas De Rio. I'm a concept artist from Belgium working in the entertainment industry. I mostly do concept art and design for feature films, but I've also done illustration for games, mobile apps, card games, books and other media. In this series I'll be teaching you how to paint a fantasy landscape. We'll start from a basic sketch and slowly work on different in quick and that will be the way. Interesting. I like my characters more, eh? So that was issue number 96 of the Imagine FX magazine. These two colours go really nice, don't they? Like the brown and pink. I feel like it goes really nicely together, that. 
I hope you enjoyed this one. Really nice this one was. And then next week we're looking at this one. All about comic. Comic art. Issue number 97. So little Freddy the Fox will be back with us for that. I hope you are as well. <laughs> I'll see you later. Thank you for